I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. My name is Clark Natwick, and uh, this story took place nearly 50 years ago. Don Stoopville and I had gone skin diving near Davenport many times. It was October 1962 when Don and I paddled our inner tube float and Hodgkin mat out into the ocean to begin our search for the delicious red abalone. This single-shelled mollusk attaches its stomach foot to rocks at the bottom of the ocean. When the ocean was calm, the abalone could relax. Our skin diving was called free diving because we didn't use air tanks as we dove down 10 to 20 feet or more to search the rocks for abalone. As we dove down to the rocks looking for abalone, we held our breath as long as we could, about 20 to 30 seconds. To insulate ourselves against the 52 degree Fahrenheit water, we wore neoprene foam suits, hoods, and booties. When the ocean was calm and clear, the underwater views were beautiful. Reddish, brown, and green seaweed waving in the depths attached to the rocks with their hold fast were joined by anemone, sea urchin, and starfish. Some starfish had 12 legs. Don and I were 50 to 75 yards out from the shore when we started diving and searching for abalone. I can't remember if Don saw the whale first or if I did. As we stared at the whale we realized the whale was between us and the shore. Never before when we dove at Davenport were we accompanied by a whale. We were close enough to this gray whale to see its big eye. We also noticed that lots of mussels and other crustaceans had attached themselves to the hospitable whale. As luck would have it, the Hodgkin mat leaked making it extra hard to paddle to shore. If the whale was concerned about us, she didn't approach us to ask for proof of citizenship or anything else. We both managed to reach the shore intact and relieved that our whale encounter was visual only.